So today in Louisiana Beer Reviews, we are looking at Stone's release of the Double Bastard Rye. Um, I had never seen this before until uh, about a year and a half ago. I bought this at a gas station in Harahan, Louisiana. I believe it's called Save Lot or something like that. It's one of those little stations that, that sells 100% gasoline, which is hard to come by, so I'm kind of attracted to that because I drive an older vehicle. Um, so I bought one and I was totally pleased with it and just by chance I had gone back there and there was one left. So I decided to buy it and I've been waiting for a really good occasion to try this. It says the APV on this is 12.7. 12.7 ABV. Right. And this is a Yikes. 500 milliliter bottle which is a 16.9%. 16.9. Right. Wow. Right. And it comes with this classic cage champagne top. Uh, I find with certain beers, these are hit, hit or miss. Yeah, we've had them blow up on us. Yeah, we, we've had them to where we couldn't get them off. Yeah. And we weren't so particularly happy about what we tasted when we couldn't get them off. Oh, yeah. Well, let's not bring that up. <laughs> you don't have to bring it up. I was just saying that that's, that's what happened. That's what you told me one time. Same cap, same bottle. Uh, you told me that one time. You said, Stone, Stone went out and uh, uh, they went ahead and bossed the bottle. There's a story on the back. But oh, so it's a painted on label. It's not some stick on. No, it's actually embossed on it. It's not a label. Painted. Okay, aged in Templeton Rye whiskey barrels, and I don't know anything about Templeton Rye. I've had the Double Bastard, and I drank Double Bastard one time, and I did a bit of video review. I made the, I made the mistake of drinking the whole bottle and doing a review, mm -hmm. and I was eating fried chicken, and it was so bad. The video was so out of control, and I was laughing to myself, and like I just cut the video off and deleted it. It was like bad. But this is the kind of beer that will do that. It's the kind of beer to sneak up on you, especially with an ABV like 12.7. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get this cap off. Hopefully there's no problems. Okay, no problems with this one. Feel it turning. Nice pop. It's got that nice little pop. It's got that great smell. I'm not smelling anything funky on that. It was handled correctly. Yeah. Doesn't smell... Now, smell with 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 a, with a beer cork, you're you're gonna get a little funk, but it's not gonna be overly funk. Think of like funk, kind of like a blue cheese funk. It's 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 gonna right. it's gonna kick you and smack you a little bit, but you're gonna like it. Yeah, and it probably won't be rancid like the one little incident which we won't go into. But um, <laughs> which we're gonna stop talking about. But we can't get away. But it's from interfering it. on about other beer reviews. No, we can't. We can't get away. We got traumatized by that. We can't get away from it. Got post traumatic this stress disorder. Just cloudy, you can't even see through it. It looks like a giant barley wand to me. It does. It's tan caramel color. Oh, that's it's gonna have major sediment. That's gonna have major sediment. That's really thick. There's way too much in it even shake around and don't do it. It's it's like a black hole, you can't see the bottom. Right. So there's, there's no use. way too much. Uh, beer to shake around. Yeah, you said it right. I got beers. absolutely no head. no head. I'm going to step out on a limb. It says 2015. Um, that's murky. That is. That looks like Mississippi mud water to me. Look at that. That is just incredible. When was the last time you saw a beer like this? Oh, Ooh, this is a beer. This is a beer, and I'm going to say it's probably a higher alcohol than what's stamped on it because it's been sitting. Yeah, but I don't it's know if sitting. that raises the ABV. But uh, uh, Well, you know, if it came out sugary, it's going to keep on eating that yeast. I would not chug this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's caramel colored. Caramel colored, I mean to say caramel. It's fantastic. Well, I gotta get the I'm aroma. getting the rye. I gotta get the aroma get, first. Go ahead. I'll do my own review. <laughs> Did you drink before I came over here? All right, let's see. Oh, I think we just drank three beers. <laughs> I, um, I'm i picking up some... Uh, yeah, it's like a little faint whiskey and um, some heavy... It's Now, 
it's heavy medium malt. What I mean is the roast is medium, but the smell is heavy. Oh, that makes so sense. I just noticed that that this is aged in whiskey barrels as well. Yeah, probably rye whiskey, probably old overhalt. Yeah. This is oh Templeton rye. Excuse this me. This is oh, rye, rye. This whiskey. is fantastic. Man, this is this Caramel, is like, oh, man. This is just something that you just warm up. Yeah, because you have it cold, and we don't want it cold. So it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna, it's gonna bloom like a flower in springtime, as it warms. It's gonna really develop. Fig. No, don't cap. Are you gonna cap it? Yep. <laughs> okay, fig. There's a lot of bitterness. It has that stone house style hop bitterness, and. Stone has a definitive style of hop bitterness that I can never place when I describe it, but I can always recognize it when I drink it. This is so beautiful. There's not there's not a hint of carbonation at all, but I think if you shake it up, yeah, it's a little, you get some on of it. Yeah. This is highly alcohol. I couldn't drink this too much. This is so murky. You know what I drank last night? I have no clue. Old Rasputin. Old Rasputin. It's a wonderful beer. So if you if you hold it up to the light, you can see the legs underneath. The bubble legs coming down and stuff. I smell something that smells like a Rush concert I went to in 1984. If you get what I'm driving at. Teen Spirit? I don't smell that. No, it wasn't Teen Spirit. Teen Spirit I was smelling at that Rush concert in 1984. It was some kind of a wafting aroma from something that was burning in the arena, in the lakefront arena. Double Teen Spirit? No, it was some kind of cigarette type odor, but it wasn't tobacco, believe it or not. Even um, more Teen Spirit? It is a sharp bitterness. Now I'm telling you what. This thing, the hops did not fade too much. It's still got a strong hop bitterness. I mean, the IBUs must be what, 90? It is incredible. Um, I don't know. This is a world class. It's this sweet. Is so good. It's bready. It's this big turn, This turned whatever, this, whatever this beer was, turned into one of the most fantastic barley wines I'm ever tasting right now. Yeah, you heard I said everything, fig Newton. Everything is has married like a good pot of red beans the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is yeah, delicious. Yeah, all, all, the, all the pork, all the uh, ham hocks like melded into the bean juice, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. The body's heavy and the finish is sweet. Well, I would not drink this and go on a driving trip, uh, you know, a Sunday driving trip. I would stay home and watch a game because this could really cause some issues. But, you know, we're doing it in moderation, relatively moderate. So, um, I really don't think you could drink a lot of it. It's just too heavy bodied. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You couldn't take it. It's too That's intense. Why I, why I stuck the cork back on it. It's a little gamey. I don't know what gamey means when it comes to beer. You know, like chewy, like, like a little... A little too much sweetness. Like it, it's a little turn off, a little bit. A little bit. But it's not a gulper, and I'm drinking it kind of fast. It's a sipper. You could drink this in an hour and it wouldn't lose anything. I'm thinking about letting mine sit a little bit and see what it tastes like when it warms up. Yeah, so look, do not buy this bottle and sit down and just drink that whole bottle. Because you're going to feel like you took medicine. So with that said, it's at least an A plus, and it could go higher than. It's world class, and with that said, we can end the beer review. Yeah, we're ending it. This is, I got nothing else to add to this other than that's awesome. one, of, one of the best barley wines I've tasted ever. Bastard. I, but you notice one thing before we stop: we didn't really talk about any rye spice. I think it's faded. You know, we usually get that like that peppery. Yeah. 
thing. I think it's faded. I think it's all married, like I said, like a good pot of red beans. Everything just marries together. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so dynamite, I don't know how much it cost you, but dynamite product. Oh. So les les bon temps relay. I'm so glad you let me try it. We're going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. I'm taking a photo of this.